Hey guys, Chad Tracy back here with another video. I was a uh, New Jersey State Correction Officer for 18 and a half years before I was terminated unjustly, unfairly um, by New Jersey, by the department. Uh, two officers came forward and said that I called them two derogatory names and I threatened them. Been fighting for my job for approximately the last six years and change now. And trying to move forward in my life and we're under... Um, appeals and this is where we are today um the reason why i do these videos is for it's for my therapy i was never um offered any kind of help through new jersey doc um for any kind of um mental anguish or anything like that or the stress that i was going through um it does say it in my doctor's notes uh for the first heart attack when i had that um my doctor specifically states um, that due to the stress on the job and what hired, what happened during the last incident, um, the reason why I had the heart attack was because of the stress that I was put uh, through and everything of that nature. So that's what leads me to where I'm at today. So um, I told you that there was a part two for the last video, which there is. Um, I was... Uh, talking to some uh, individuals at Garden State. Um, one of them being the, the lady thinks that she's uh, right all the time, but she's actually wrong. Um, she hung up on me approximately twice, maybe even three times. Um, I guess they are short there, and I don't know why nobody's not showing up for work. But maybe if they would have gave Dawn... Um, the job as the human resource manager, um, things wouldn't be as they are now at Garden State. Um, from my understanding, excuse me guys, that it is um, a rough go over there as of right now. Um, extremely rough. Um, a lot of the officers, from my understanding, are having hard times getting paperwork and things of that nature. Um, and it's very frustrating for them, I'm sure, as well as it was for me. And I'm not even an employee over there anymore. <laughs> so that just goes to show you guys um, that I just like to um, tell my story and um, let people know what's going on in certain departments or certain institutions, get the word out about what happened with me, and um, just put everything out there that I can. So um, getting back that the one female had hung up on me numerous times, um, not very professional, poor representative of um, HR. Um, HR is supposed to carry themselves with the utmost respect, dignity, integrity, and everything else. So therefore, um, since I was lied upon uh, numerous times by the ex-president of the PBA, uh, he lied um, on me and told stories um, which were fabricated, which aren't true. And I met up with a couple of individuals and they told me that, um, that he, pre he lied on me. And that's why, um, that's, a, that's why I'm at where I'm at now. So Renshaw, I think that's your name. You can go eat a dick, my man. So, uh, the truth always comes out, guys. The truth always comes out. I don't even know. I think that's his name. It doesn't matter anymore. But, uh, yeah, so not getting back. Sorry about that. I went on a little tangent. But, uh, yeah, so that girl hung up on me. Um, not much you can do. And that's why I tape every time I talk to someone, just in case they try to lie on you. Because, like I just said, the uh, president lied on me. Um, I had two officers lie on me, one of them being an IBP rep. And I had a lieutenant lie that was in operations uh, approximately a couple years ago at Garden State, lied on me. Um, and numerous other people had lied. And that's why they ent entered my videos. And that's why the one piece of shit major has entered my videos as much as he has, because he needs to retire. The other one's a bully. Um, he's already retired. Um, but I heard some good gossip on him. So I guess with the, the masked man is going to, I guess, spill the beans. 
The Masked Man will be making another appearance shortly. And uh, you guys go ahead and try to figure out who it is because he is still working. He is on the job and he's not retiring anytime soon. So um, that's why we had to put a, a mask over his face. Um, so um, you'll know who he is. So um, they're getting back. So um, I actually finally got my or received um, my work history. Well, I didn't. But my recruiter did. So they reach out to Department of Corrections July 14th. They didn't receive paperwork until Tuesday. Excuse me. It was August 22nd. The OC is supposed to, um, after they get the first uh, fax or email, um, they're supposed to return it within three to five days according to a very, 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 very delightful person in DOC, which helped me out tremendously. And I'm going to say her name because um, she is the reason why I got everything taken care of as quickly as I did. Her name is Jennifer Cagnon. Um, thank you. I definitely appreciate your um, professionalism. Um, you, you spoke to me with a lot of respect. Um, and unfortunately... Um, if you had a couple more individuals at Garden State that acted as professional as you, um, you wouldn't, well, not you personally, but um, your department at Garden State wouldn't be in, in shambles as it is. Uh, there was a girl named Dawn that worked there that I believe she applied for the manager's position or the HR manager or however um, it wasn't granted, so she left. And then you had another girl that left, also named Kerry, which were very, very um, smart individuals, very professional, carried themselves with a lot of respect. And um, unfortunately, they left. Um, but I, I, I do want to reiterate one thing. Um, or actually, yeah, I do want to reiterate that I did reach out to Garden State Um on Friday because I wasn't sure if I, I got word that it wasn't followed up on or it wasn't sent over, but it was. Um, but I did reach out and I got a hold of a, a name, a girl named Rosie. And I, I'll tell you what, Rosie was very professional, was very, very professional. Um, she was very determined to help me out. Um, and I, ver and I appreciate, um, Rosie, she did a fantastic job, um, and you could tell that she just wanted to help and and get this taken care of for me. So I, I definitely had to give her give her an A plus in her um, approach, and thank you for handling it, uh, Miss Rosie, as professional as you did because I I do appreciate that. Um, and Miss Rosie, and I know you can verify this if you are watching. I'm sure other people are watching. Um, and listen, Major, if you're watching my videos, please subscribe. Just subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so you get that direct um, message. Um, and put you, know, you can put a fake name in because I know you're watching. So put the fake name in so you get every anytime I post, it, it will come up. So you can watch the videos because I think you're a couple um, videos behind. But um, listen... Watch watch all the videos. But um getting back now. Um thank God for Jennifer Cagnon. Excellent job. And that's probably the reason why she's in the job that she's she's in or the role that she's in. Very professional. I wish her the best. Thank you. Um, Miss Cagnon, because I, I do appreciate your work and you look past and I, I know you're uptown and I know that you know my whole story. And you could have treated me differently or, um, you know, with less respect in, than what you did, but you didn't. You kept it very professional as well as I do anytime I get on the phone with anybody from New Jersey DOC. Um, and I appreciate um, people like you. Thank you. Um, Miss Rosie, thank you. I definitely appreciate your help. Um, the lady that was answering the phone that she's overwhelmed and she treats people like shit. Um, that shouldn't be, 
It should never be. That's your job. Um, so I guess in DOC, when we're officers, when we're overwhelmed and we're stressed out, um, we're supposed to act professional regardless because we're high, we're held at a higher level. Um, I guess when you're a civilian in Department of Corrections, I guess you know, you're not held at that higher level so you can treat people how you want and tell the story as you wish. But um, let the investigations begin, um, if they may, because I have recordings of everything. So don't play with me and don't don't lie, because um, I have everything. So, like I said, um, and I'm gonna say this I'm gonna, like I did before. I called up there and I talked to her, uh, the person that always thinks she's right, but she's wrong, the real negative one that picked up the phone. She said she, she could not verify that over the phone. She could not tell me the dates over the phone. So let me tell you this, DOC. Um, like I said, I don't owe anybody any explanation or I don't protect anybody because when push comes to shove, nobody had my back. And all you have to do is open up the investigation like I've asked for, for probably ever since I started these videos now, about six months now, seven months to reopen, to relook, to reevaluate, and nothing is done. So my question is to you, DOC, why is it that I called up a certain entity within the department and I got my work history verbally over the phone when that lady at HR um, would not give it to me verbally over the phone? Is that a kink in the system or is it just because that lady found out it was me and she would not give me uh, the information over the phone? Because she worked at Garden State and she heard about me. But I can tell you that somebody gave me all the information I needed without signing a release, without signing that form that you had asked for, but they gave it to me verbally over the phone. But the one in Garden State would not. So your system is flawed somewhere, somehow. And guess what? We're gonna revisit we're gonna revisit that again in a couple months. Or actually maybe in a couple weeks. And I'm gonna see if I can get that oral information over the phone again. Um or I'm gonna have somebody else call and see if they can get that oral information over the phone from Garden State or actually throughout the state. We're gonna make some phone calls to the different institutions and we're gonna test them and see how well they do and see if other people from different entities that used to work at these different jails um, can get that information. So I, I, I guess we, we would expect, right, an email throughout the state, a statewide email to go out stating that um, you cannot release any person's information without a form that they sign. But how do you know if that's even the person or not? Because they could be doing identity theft. How come they're not able to go to, a, go to that institution, show ID, and then get that um, information there instead of having it faxed? Hmm. Or better yet, when a agency, a private investigative agency reaches out to you, how about you just give them the information um, when it's asked for? So we waited about almost five weeks for that information to get out. Then after it finally got out that we were looking for the information, somebody told me, oh, it's three to five days. I'm like, well, we've been asking ever since... <laughs> what, July 14th, July 15th. And now it's, it's going towards the end of the month. And um, we finally got it. Fi the end of the month of uh, August, right before I'm about to start, the day before it comes through. Come on. So we're going to test you again, DOC, and we're going to see if there's any more flaws. And we're going to continue to report on here. So today is the... 31st and we're going to see it's Saturday morning the 31st so we got it written down and um, 
we're going to follow up in that. And we're going to see if you can get verbals over the phone still or not. Because my understanding that you're able to. But why is it Yardville wouldn't do it or Garden State wouldn't do it? But another entity would. So, I will be contacting um, the person I need to contact to uh, Oprah some information. Um, and then we're going to get into that. So, although I'm out of the New Jersey Department of Corrections, like I said, um, the harassment con continues. Not only does it continue... Um, on social media, but flyers are present, literally. It's all good, I get it. You're frustrated, you're pissed off because I, I told on you, because I told your business. It's not my fault that you guys are doing coke and you guys are getting away with it. I mean, you're able to do weed, so just stick with weed, don't do coke anymore. Um, you know what I mean? It's eventually going to catch up to you. And now they know. You know what I mean? Got to look at some lieutenants in there. Um, what's his name? The guy in IA. Start looking at some guys at Garden State. Some piss tests. And let me ask you a question. Since we're at, uh, we're held at a higher level or higher standard, how come directors aren't piss tested? How come administrators aren't piss tested? Because they are in our chain of command, correct? And they are part of police or firemen's pension, correct? So how come they're not piss tested? DOC. You need to start piss testing everybody, not just officers. You start, you got to start piss testing the majors also. When was the last time a major was piss tested in the uh, New Jersey Department of Corrections? Or lieutenants? Because I know one lieutenant already beat a uh, piss test um, that was doing coke prior. So let's, let's, let's call it what it is. And there's an officer that's beating it also. So, what about the majors? How come the majors aren't being piss tested? The administrators, they're not being piss tested. How come the directors aren't being piss tested? Right? Why is it only certain individuals that are presumed to be bad officers? How come you guys harass them? How come you harass officers that are doing their jobs? That's what I want to know. Trenton, what happened to those 50 officers? Or that one also that turned in that um, slip that was on a doctor's note that it was... Um, falsified that the doctor didn't do it. What's going on there? We're all away. Are you guys doing the 12 hour shifts there? I'm curious. Somebody please email me treyy1975 at gmail, or you guys can um, reach out to certain individuals that know me to have my phone number. Text me, call me. Listen, if you guys need help with anything, give me a call. If you don't trust certain individuals, listen, I trusted the president of the union um, before he left. Um, and he screwed me. He lied right to my face. That's it, folks. Uh, we're going to be Oprah requesting... I started a federal investigation. 
and uh, we're off to the races. We're going to see what happens now. So I told you I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue. Um, I wouldn't be going this far or have this much money invested in a attorney if I was lying or um, I actually threatened those guys on that day. You need to reopen the case, the OC. Everybody makes mistakes. I just want you to do what's right. That's all I want. Do what's right. That's all I ask. Do what's right. All right, guys. Chad Tracy, that's it. Uh, fired after 18 and a half years of service. Um, by two officers that conspired against me and a couple other officers that a lieutenant witnessed um, and got me fired, terminated. Um, listen, they say never change your specials, but I can tell you this, guys, that if you tell the truth and I win or when I win or if I win, I will be going after you civilly also. So you may be retired or you may be living in a basement. Um, we're going to see what happens because you may be paying me money monthly. So think about it, guys. I, I can tell you this, that, you know, the truth will always set you free in my mind. Um, and that's it. That's it, folks. I'll be back. We're going to open request some stuff. And, uh, next one is going to be a doozy. The masked man is back. And we're going to enlighten you in, enlighten you. Hmm. Enlighten you on some facts of some people in New Jersey DOC. That's it, guys. See you next time. Be safe in there. Um, watch your backs. Even if you don't like the guys, always have their backs. Take care. Be safe.